50% goes towards your expenses, 30% goes towards your needs, 10% goes towards charity, 10% goes towards emergency, 20% goes towards like investments. Yeah, something like that. I had saved $7,000 one month. Oh, and then what happened? Then I had put it in the bank. Then we was outside. It was gone. (laughs) (laughs) You suck, your business sucks, and you'll never be successful. How many people paid you five grand? You never lied to anybody? Okay, real quick. Anything you see in here? What? It's over, bro. Mm. What's your belief system? You're married, yes? To a woman? Or you let your wife wear pants? When I ask you for something and you don't give it to me, are you knowing that you're lying to me? Lying? You cannot move being this comfortable. But you be in the crib and your drawers just like... My job is to make you fail. My job is to make you quit. My job is to make you cry. But if you survive it, success is on the other side. All right, Bakari, what's up? Hey. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, why? Yo, you are having a ball right now. I love your personality. I really do. Thank you. You watched the hot seat, right? Mm Mm-hmm. What made you apply? Because I know that I need help. And I figure out that That's I figured real. it. And yeah, grill my business so I can figure out what I need to see or what I don't, you know? Because sometimes yeah. somebody else hearing and looking in can tell you a different. Yeah, That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. So what is your business? I am a fashion designer. So I make luxury gowns, like prom gowns mm-hmm. and special occasion wear for the most part. And I saw your page. It's really, really good. Thank you. It's really, really good. Thank you. How do you? I am 31. 31. How long you been doing it? For six years. Since 2017. Oh, nice. Okay. Good, good, good. And what were you doing before that? Mm, Chilling. What do you mean? Like, before I... So, before that, I just was like... I just was vibing. That's really what I was doing. I had had my baby, so I just was chilling and... Rich baby dad? Mm-mm, but I had a nice boyfriend. Oh, rich boyfriend. Something like that. He was. He was what? He was. <laughs> I was able to live. <laughs> <What>? without <working. laughs> okay, he was able to live without working. Mm-hmm. Then that was over with. Mm-hmm. And Before that, I did work in healthcare. Okay. Like I wanted to be. A, I wanted to be a doctor. I don't like to go to school. So then I went to be a nurse. But then. I didn't want to do that. I just knew I wanted to be a fashion designer. Do you date rich? I date rich. I try to, but <laughs> that's my vibe. I, I ain't bad at that. Love. I feel like if I find love and they're not there yet, I feel like because I'm not this humongously rich person that I can't be like, oh, you're not rich, so I can't love you, you know? So I feel like. I mean, some people are like that. Because are, they plan on not being rich. And they're like, yo, I want to live this lifestyle still. Because being an entrepreneur is hard. It is. It's very ghetto. <laughs> Ain't it? Think about it. Like, who want to do all that? Shoot. <laughs> so, you, are you dating now? Mm, kind of. Is he rich? mm Light bag. He is. He lives a cute life. He yeah. pays for every date. Mm-hmm. I haven't paid for. I don't pay for dates. I haven't paid for a date. Okay. If he was like, "Yo, let's go to Miami," he'll take you. I feel like it. Okay. All right. Cool. How long have a date? Mm, we have been. Mm, we started in like May. We started. Few months. Think it's serious. He ain't got enough. He ain't got enough. <laughs> <laughs> he cute and all, but I really like him though. That's I really, I really like him. I yeah. really, I really like him. Yeah, that's and I good. really like the way he treats me. So yeah. I, I pay attention to that. Like yeah. I, he works and he does his thing, and I like love a side the way business. He, well, he works. I really appreciate how he treats me. Mm, so good. I have dated men that has lots of money and they don't treat me well. Yeah. I don't feel like. You know, I don't Good. feel like I'm being taken care of. Good. Yeah, okay. So. But you be inspiring and motivating. I'm like, yo, baby, mm-hmm. you need to start a little side hustle or something. Motivates me, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I do. It's, it's I'm as like, you should. <laughs> anytime okay. for a promotion, you know, I'll be trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
I'm just trying to, you know, what's been is there. Yeah, you are hilarious. Okay, so your business is you make evening wear. Mm -hmm, basically. Yeah, like prom dresses, mm -hmm. wedding dresses. I don't really dabble into wedding. Mm -hmm. Very stressful. So gotcha. That's not really my thing. So I'm really the prom. I call myself the prom boss. Gotcha. Because prom, prom boss. Is, yeah, prom is really my thing. Okay. And how much do you charge? So I have a showroom in Atlanta, downtown. So I have dresses that start at like four ninety nine that are already made, you know, to like that seven ninety nine mm -mm, that are already made. So I have dresses that are already made, and then for me to make something, I start about twelve hundred. Hold on. So you have okay? Can you turn the air on a little bit? A little bit, not to where it's cold, freezing, but a little bit. Okay, cool. You can go this way. It's cool. Um. So you find dresses maybe what wholesale? Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I buy wholesale dresses too. You buy buy them for four hundred, sell them for five hundred. Mm, I like might that. buy them for like seventy nine and sell them for like four ninety nine, five ninety nine. Go crazy! Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at that. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Okay, okay. And well, I would imagine that the challenge is once prom season's over, where's the money, right? Exactly. So what do you do? Nothing. At all? So, <laughs> yeah, because I be really stressed out. Like, so I be on go from January 1st all the way to, like, May 30th or whatever the last day. So I after see. May, my that's one of my big problems is I have burnt myself completely out where I don't want to see a dress. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to talk to nobody. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. But I do that for, like, two, three months. And then now it's, like... All the money that I have saved for myself or, you know, acquired for myself, I'm using that to take care of my lifestyle that I live. And then... You have a job? Mm-mm. This is my only thing. I so do. just full time. So kind of like taxes. Like in the tax season, people will like make all their money in a few months mm -hmm. and then they're good for the rest of the year. Exactly. So what do you make throughout the... From January to, you said May? Um. <clears throat> so I know it's six figures. This year, I ain't even gonna lie, I did not... I don't know what I made this year. You don't know what you made this year? Mm -mm. I don't know what my store made. I wasn't able to really focus on my store because I took customs, which is something that I'm stopping. Like, I can't do that anymore because I realized that I can't scale my business how I want to and work in my business and take direct customers. You have a store. Mm -hmm. I have a showroom. A showroom, all prom dresses. Mm -hmm. And then little girl comes in with her mom and she's like, oh, I want this one. Mm -hmm. And that's open all year round? Mm hmm But I have other stuff, too, like bridesmaids dresses. I have, like, other vibes, you don't, too. I thought you said you don't do wedding. Oh, you don't do the wedding dress, but yeah. bridesmaid situation. Yeah, like, or if you're going to a wedding or if you're going to a special event. So, you know. And you say you don't know how much your store made? Mm-mm. How is that the case? I don't know, because I was supposed to look before I came. Do you have a POS system? I do. But that's, okay, so that's another thing. So I have a POS system. I also still take Cash App. I also still take Zelle, and I take cash. And one thing I didn't You work with strippers in. a lot? Mm -mm. No, I don't. Right? No, for real, because they be having cash, and it's hard no, to. No, people just be having cash still. Don't people be. People be having a lot of cash. People don't be having cash. People be having. In my business. What type of people? The people that's coming to buy these dresses. They be having lots of cash, because I, I get a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. I still get a whole lot of cash during prom season. You still get a whole lot of cash. Mm -hmm. It's about to be 2024. Yep. And I don't know where they be getting it from. You know where they be getting it from. <laughs> <laughs> you know where they be getting it from. But okay. yeah, they be having a lot of issues. So they'll just give you cash and you just take the cash and mm -hmm. you're So out. this year I wasn't able to keep up with a lot of that too because I had people working in my store, but I was on the other side. Oh, they side. were stealing. No, they wasn't. 100%. No, they wasn't. So I'm telling you. Yo, everything if you had a, other, every, so everything has a receipt, and if you do Zelle or Cash App or anything like that, she it has to come to me. So she has to confirm that I got the money before she sell the dress. <laughs> it's a complicated situation. But if you're not there and they mm -hmm. sell a dress, but and I, yo, we I sold am this there. dress I'm just on the other side. We sold this dress. They only have four hundred. We normally sell for five. We don't do that. If you don't got that five hundred, then come back tomorrow. Never when you got it. Mm -mm. They still. I tried. Here's that. how I know. They steal it. Oh, my God. How? Because if you don't know how much money you made, you mm -hmm. don't know your inventory. Mm -hmm. So somebody could have bought a dress, gave the 500 cash, because you get a lot of cash. They give your employee the money. They walk out. Nobody knows it because they know 
that you don't know. Well, and you'll walk around like I thought we had this one dress, and it's no, just no, that's never happened. It always happens. She was. I'm it's, telling it's like you, my little sister. She's stealing. No, she, she's very trustworthy. Mm-hmm. I really wish I could get her. Back. Everybody that steals mm-hmm. seems trustworthy. <laughs> I gotta call her. That's how you get got. I'm calling her today. Call her. Hey, you ever stole <laughs> a little bit? You ever took a couple dollars off any of these dresses? She took a couple dollars. I'm telling you. I'm gonna ask her. Yep. Oh, oh, especially at the end of the day. So if the dress is 500, they're like, yo, give me 320. No, we're not doing that. You're not doing that. She ain't doing that either. She, okay. She she can't do that. You ain't got no cameras, do you? <laughs> I don't. No, I know. No, but I'm putting something up for this season, though. I'm putting one right above the cash register and I'm putting it in right at the door. And you don't have no inventory count. Uh-uh. So you don't know I what do you have, got. I do got a list. Somewhere. Somewhere. Look, man, I, I see y'all enjoying the episode, but entrepreneurship is tough, as you can see. Um, but if you want to make more money, get more information, and, uh, and really have more support, you need a community, okay? Morning Meetup is a community that I've started six years ago, where every single morning, I'm talking to a group of entrepreneurs, giving them more information, giving them support, and teaching them how to make more money, how to grow their business, okay? We have a book club that you need to be a part of. We have meetups that you need to be a part of. The missing link is connection to not only a coach, but a community, okay? You don't have to join every single morning, okay? But if you wake up this morning, you know that we are there Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, okay? Join our book club. Uh, You don't have to speak. You could be quiet. You don't have to have your camera on, but the more you're on, you want people to see your face uh, and connect with us, okay? The morning meetup will get you more money, more information, and more support this year, 2024, okay? So it's only $497 for the entire year. That's 250 calls with the community teaching you how to do this thing called entrepreneurship, okay? So if this... If this interview resonates with you at any point and you say, yo, you know what? The way he's talking to him or the way he's talking to her, I need him to talk to me like that. Well, join us every single morning. And quiet is kept. Most of the people that are on the hot seat come from the Morning Meetup community. You all get priority. All right? So go to themorningmeetup.com. Let's get back to the episode. Yep, people still. All right. So throughout the year, you have bridesmaids dresses, prom dresses. And you have no idea because you don't have a system of where they're putting inputting the money into a POS. So system. now that's so we started implementing that like in the middle of the season. Right. So I did account for about sixty. I think when I looked, it was like sixty five thousand. I did account for that, but that doesn't count for like Cash App and Zelle and um, okay. Cash. So I want you to get out of the ghetto. I know. And the ghetto isn't the 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 environment you're in Mm -hmm. the way you're running your business is the ghetto (laughs) just give me cash give me cash (laughs) rub me some cash out rub me a paypal (laughs) you got to run a business like a business now i'm not saying i don't take cash Mm -hmm. if it's like a specialty situation that i'm doing i'm like all right like if somebody wants to do a consultation give me the two thousand i'm done it's it's all good Mm i'll take my wife out to eat so that's cool. But the rest of the business is run like a business through the POS system. And you got, if you're going to, if you're going to expand, mm-hmm. you have to do this. And based on this conversation, what I really know about you is you don't know where your money's going. I don't. And I just started working on a budget at the beginning of December. You should have more money, right? I should have way more. And you don't know money. where it's at. Mm-mm. You're like, yo, where are my money going? Why like, keep going broke? Why I keep going broke? I need exactly. too much money. I really, my business generates too much money for me to end up broke by the end of the year. Yes, because what you don't monitor slips away. Mm-hmm. There are holes in the boat. And if your business is operative like this, one, I know you're behind on taxes for sure. Two, two, am I? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't say Two, personal, personal finances mm-hmm. are all over the place, too. Mm-hmm. And what I know is happening is when you need some money, <laughs> 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 you go right in that little drawer. We can't do that. Yeah, I, I'll be taking from Bakari. 
This is what I want you to do. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have to put yourself on a payroll from the company. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna connect you with my, my lady from ADT, ADP, ADP. And you'll you'll pay yourself a certain amount of money. You think that you make all the money that you make, and that's not the case. Me personally, I make ten thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. I used to make a whole lot more because my business money would come into my account, and I tell people, "Yo, I'm a millionaire. I make millions. I'm up. I'm up." <laughs> and I just could never fine I, I just never had no money i made a lot of money i just never had any money and i'm not seeing the account grow because when the account grows i take out because i got i see a lot there mm -hmm. if i see it i spend it so that's why my strategy now is once i get influxes of money i take money and i buy real estate i'm gonna buy some some stock or something because i don't want to see the amount i can't see a high amount if i see a high amount i think i have a lot of of money and then I manufacture needs in my head. So now I pay myself $10,000 a month. And sometimes, Bakari, mm -hmm. I ain't got it. My friends be like, yo, my, my best friend's birthday is today. One of my, I have two best friends. Her birthday is today. And our other friend, our other friend was like, yo, we about to invite all the people to this restaurant and we about to put a credit card down. We need to put a credit card down. What's your card number? I said, why do I automatically have to put my card down? <laughs> and I said, it depends on how many people's gonna be there if I'm giving you this card or not. She's like, oh, maybe they can get 12 people. I said, oh no. People gonna be drinking and my card is on file? The reason they do that is because Last year, year before that, mm -hmm. I got all this money and I just spend. I got no problem. A thousand dollars on dinner or fifteen hundred dollars on dinner is nothing compared to what I see in my account. But now I'm looking at my personal account, mm -hmm. and I ain't got it. Thank you guys. Any dessert? Oh, no, no. I don't want any uh, dessert. Can you uh, separate it? I got the birthday girl and my wife. Separate. Separate right. hey. I'm sorry, you're the only man at this table. Why are we doing separate checks? But it's all women here. We got a no, check. but I'm not, I'm not responsible for paying everybody. I got the birthday but girl. you invited everybody. You invited all of us. I didn't invite you. <laughs> Ernestine invited you. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm responsible for who I brought. Okay, you're the only man at the table. I'm sorry, hold on. We was all doing Russian roulette, paying for credit cards and all that. Now all of a sudden you want to split checks? Uh, we doing split was, checks, That bro? was 2021. Y'all okay? wait. Things were different. Not but I didn't sign up for that. Okay, there's nobody else doing that. But the... you participate. I know we I'm got sorry. you. I'm sorry. Wait, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. This is my birthday for real. Don't. Okay, well, I think y'all mad at me because I didn't have anything. Door. No, 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 no. I didn't no, get no. nothing. But you it's still Donnie's paid. birthday. Wait a minute. We're not I doing didn't this. Pay for nothing that we... I didn't get. But you no, came, but you though. Sat so at the you don't pay for a seat. Okay, well, yes. No, 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 listen, no, no, no. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how y'all do it. I didn't order to do it. I just showed up. I, well, I'm sorry. I Dave, but you seat. always pay, like, you're the only man at the table. You're no, not going to pay the check? If it's, but I, I don't, I'm not obligated. I got my whole family. It's $700 it's for this whole table, and it's my birthday. It's the, this is your podcast, co host. This is your best friend. It's only Shan. You're being cheap. Are you, you kidding me right you now? You're honestly being cheap right now. Okay, first. No, if that was the case, I would have just, I just took you out. Are you being your sick? Dre. Are you gonna let him sit here with a whole table full of women? I really feel like it's not his responsibility, and when y'all get a husband, I'm oh, I'm married. I'm married. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have a, oh, I do have a husband though. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Thank y'all. I do have a husband. No, so Donnie, you're good because it's your birthday, but the rest of y'all, we want to chip in. We're good. Y'all are so embarrassed. But you can. Let me get you out need of here. Not us splitting checks. You need to leave. No, I'm not paying for anything. That's I'm not paying for anything. No, He's you ate, you had, you had a couple no, drinks. No, you know what? No, that's some bullshit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not paying for anything. I'm going to tell you tomorrow. No, no, he's no, the man at the table. No. He Wait, needs to you, pay. Can you please separate, separate the check, please? No, because I'm saying, that's ghetto. Like, you don't come to no establishment like that talking about splitting checks. I don't do that. I don't split checks. That's he thought really you were the podcast king. He thought you were the podcast king. Um, 
like you just want to take care of stuff. So I want you to have this experience of not having money and being like having money in a business, but feeling broke saying, yo, I can't do it right now because there's no money in my personal account. I don't want you to be broke. Mm -hmm. You're doing well as a business owner, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know if you're doing well because you don't know your numbers. I feel like I feel like I I do do well, but I do need to learn this budgeting system and I I do need to pay myself Mm -hmm. um, so I can separate my money from the business money because I do be like. If I ain't got it, I still got it. You still got it, for sure. <laughs> oh, you pay with cash? I'm taking that cash. I'm not ringing it in the register. I'm putting it in my purse because we're going out tonight. Okay, I'm putting it in my jar. That's why I got, I got jars. How long you been running a business? So, I started in 2017. But now I'm, like, I feel like the past couple years, now I feel like I run, I want to run it like a business. Because yeah. I was, I started doing it so I could make some money. Like, yeah. I started doing it because I saw somebody doing it, and I knew I wanted to be a fashion designer. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I can make some money. So if I mm-hmm. sell this many dresses, I make this much money. I sell a dress, make some money. How much is your rent your, um, uh, at the space? It's 1400 1400 That's not mm-hmm. bad. You got a car note? Mm-hmm. How much is that? Six hundred. Six hundred. So you're two thousand. You pay your own rent. Mm-hmm. How much? It's like twenty four hundred. Twenty four. So we're at forty four hundred. Mm-hmm. And you got a child. Mm-hmm. We can just put endless money on that because they just eat all the time, oh don't they? God. It's crazy. Why is she always hungry. So we're at forty four hundred so far. Do you know, you don't know what your household bills are? It's like so. My monthly bill is like sixty, sixty eight, sixty five, and sixty eight, including the business, including like everything. Yeah, like right. The business stuff, mm-hmm. but that's not including miscellaneous gas, eating stuff mm-hmm. like that. That's including like everything, not Food including not including like me getting inventory and stuff like that. But in, like all my all my bills and stuff together. Mm-hmm. How much you think you make a month? <sighs> it varies. So this month I'm like at eight thousand. Is that good or bad? That's very bad. I need to make at least ten thousand a month. I, I need to make at least ten thousand a month so I can feel so I can feel like I, I can breathe. Okay, that's probably not enough though. Mm-mm. So if your bills are let's say seven thousand because there's some there's some stuff in there missing right mm-hmm. and the food varies just for round numbers. If your if it costs you seven thousand dollars every single month to live. Mm-hmm. And you make ten thousand dollars, which you're saying, oh, that's good. There's a three thousand dollar profit in there, or so you think. Mm-hmm. The sixty-eight hundred dollars depends on how many dresses you sold, right? So, how many dresses are sold to make the sixty-eight hundred dollars? Let's say. Let's say like how much does it cost you? How much does it cost me to make a dress? Yeah. Um, between like. 111 to like 150. Sometimes it could be more if it's like in this traffic mm-hmm. account, but generally that's like, how much it costs you to make. Mm-hmm. Like 150 dollars. If I if I when I have so sometimes I have seamstresses like during yeah. the busy season, it costs me about 250 because then I have to add in not just the materials they pay they pay right. too. And you sell the dress for how much? Between like 1200, 1100. Okay. So let's say it's 11, 1200. Mm-hmm. And it costs you two fifty. That means you're at about a twenty. Let's just round up. Um, let's just round to twenty five percent. Twenty five percent profit margin. I mean, not profit margin, but expenses. Okay. So if you make ten thousand dollars a month, it costs you twenty five hundred dollars to make that ten thousand. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So if you sell ten thousand dollars worth of merchandise. It costs you twenty five hundred to make it, right? So that's that's not profit. That's uh, the twenty five hundred is inventory costs. So if I made eight thousand, I really made six something because Correct. I had to take away the cost to make the things. Correct. Okay. But let's just go with the the ten thousand high end. Mm-hmm. Ten thousand dollars. It costs you twenty five hundred. If your expenses are seven thousand. We still have to tack on the $2,500, which means you're profiting $500 a month. Because that $2,500 that's in that $10,000, that's, that's not profit. Right. That's expense. So you have, 
for you to like survive, you have to make $10,000 a month. But seeing as that's your goal right now, what I understand is if you make 8,000, you are in the negative this month, mm -hmm. real bad. It's not good. It's not. So you're like, yo, I know I make money, but I don't have any, but do you really? We don't make as much money as we think. Mm -hmm. And the only reason this is so is because we haven't tracked it. But as a business owner, we got to start tracking it because now you can see, okay, well, I thought I had a lot of profit margin on these dresses. I need to figure out a way to get them a little bit cheaper. Or this seamstress is costing me too much. I need to find a cheaper seamstress. Or you might have to change your whole business model to make it make sense so you can make some money. Mm -hmm. And you're working long hours to profit $500 a month on a good month. Well, no, not on a good month. On a good month, I'd be it'd be like 50,000, 35,000, like I would be Go crazy. It'd be it'd be it'd be really good on the, okay. during January from January to like I said May. Like I have really big five-figure months. But then mm -hmm. after May, and then we got June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So money. Yeah. And you know I ain't work for 3 months cuz I'm tired. Yeah. Now, you know what's cool? Now that we are starting to look at the numbers, we might say we are closed from June to December. Mm -hmm. We're only open January because there's no sense in paying only, I'm employees. Only appointment say it I'm, again? Only, I'm only appointment only after prom season because yeah. it's not like an influx of people. So yeah. if you need to see me, if you need to come by, then you have to book an appointment. But you wouldn't even need to see anybody because it's a failing business in those months. Huh? I still need to see somebody. You said what? Okay, it's appointment only right now, you're saying? Yeah, right now. Okay. Appointment only, the mm -hmm. way you're operating it, you're losing money. Mm -hmm. You made $8,000 this month. Mm -hmm. But you're, based on these numbers, you're losing money by being appointment only. So I should just be open? You should be closed. Oh, period. Unless we figure out another way to make some then more I'll money? Be making, then I'll be losing even more money because I'm closed now. Oh, but so to make more money. So I do have courses now. So I'm building my course. I have a master class that I sell for $1,000, which that's been doing okay. Um, I, and then I have like, I sell the courses that's inside the master class. So the master class is everything. And then I sell like the tutorials. Like a little bit. Like just make it. That's hot, yes. Yeah. And then I make this. Then I have the tutorials that they can buy separately. I sell glue, like my own fabric glue, um, and I sell patterns. So I feel like this 2024, once prom season over, I can really focus on my digital products and I can mm -hmm. focus on like all these things that I'm putting together right now Good. to make up for that money because I still got to make a, I, like you know my expenses are still yeah, high. I still absolutely, make a lot of money. So if, if I were you, based on the numbers that you're telling me, mm -hmm. I'm open January to May, and I'm closed June to December, but that June to December, I'm a digital marketer. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's it. Yeah. I'm not making more dresses because it's a losing battle. And and I saw your, your videos. You're making them joints, like mm -hmm. putting the little jewels on there. Mm -hmm. You are working for less than minimum wage right now. So I shouldn't, um, so I shouldn't make dresses after... I'm just looking at the numbers. Unless we create another way or are we raising the prices. Yeah, so I Yo, was a custom that dress is twelve hundred dollars? Yeah. So I see I feel like I have been raising my prices because now that I sell the dresses in the showroom for twelve hundred, it's like so if you want me to make it personally for you, then I have to obviously charge more. So my prom gowns that are custom, it range from like twelve hundred, mm -hmm. but it could still be like eighteen hundred or twenty two hundred, depending on like what you how you want your dress to be. The more whatever they want to their dress, the more it costs. That's just like you know, that's just like the base cost yeah. of a dress. What's the difference between a twelve hundred dollar mm -hmm. prom dress and a four thousand dollar prom dress? Um, I could make a twelve hundred dollar prom dress in three hours. Mm -hmm. And then that dress that costs more, the material's probably more expensive and it's gonna take me way longer to make the dress. Why? Because that dress, that twelve hundred dollar dress is very simple. Did you make that jacket? Yeah. <laughs> This is what I really want to do, though, for real. Right. Like, this is this right here is what I really, really, really want to do. But 
I guess this is the gift jacket that God had gave me is to make gowns and that stuff. That jacket hard. You feel me? That's How crazy. much would you sell that for? I don't know. I was thinking about a price, but I couldn't come up with nothing. I don't know. Give me an idea. Like, what do you think? How long did it take you? A long time. It took me a while. It took me some hours. I stayed up to like 6 o'clock this morning making this dress. Really? I mean, making this jacket. Mm -hmm. You just made it. That's fresh. Mm -hmm. I just made it. How how long? Like just. Uh, let's say it took like four, four or five hours. Four or five hours? That's not a long time. That is a long time. Is it? It felt like a long time. All right. So how much did you sell it for? Took you four or five hours. Um, I don't know, three fifty, four. Three fifty. What's the difference between that and if that same jacket had a Louis Vuitton tag on the inside? Mm, mm, mm. How much would a Louis? How much would that be? Probably like thirty five. Thirty five hundred, yeah, easy. Thirty five for real. You charge three fifty. Louis charges thirty five hundred, and guess what? They paid someone like you to make that joint. <laughs> So the difference between a twelve hundred dollar dress mm -hmm. and a four thousand dollar dress is the price tag. Mm. Did you see that commercial? It was it was like a, a news article where you've been to Payless, right? Mm -hmm. Oh so yeah, I saw that, and they had made it the luxury, same shoes, but it was luxury, and people was eating it up for them luxury prices for them twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. So would you feel comfortable? If you went from twelve hundred dollars mm -hmm. to three thousand dollars, but half the people that normally buy from you, they're like, "Oh no, I'm out. I can't do this." How would you feel? It's too expensive. I feel like if it was better quality, because mm -hmm. these twelve hundred dollar dresses is spandex and around and and dime and a diamond panel. Like yeah. I feel like if it was better quality, then I yes, for sure. Yeah, but, but I I'm saying people are gonna leave because yeah, it's normally twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. Now you're charging three thousand. Well, I used to that. charge like five hundred dollars to make a dress when I first started. I didn't. I was yeah. like charging four or something, five something. So like I do yeah. keep raising my price up. But if you go from twelve to three thousand, and even if half the people leave, you'll do half the work and, and make, make more, more money. money. Isn't that cool? It is. You do less work, and make more money, bigger profit. More time to spend with your boyfriend. Because <laughs> he treats you right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'm just saying, like, we have to... But for the same dress, though? For the same exact thing. Pay less. Yeah, you right. Yo, I got some, um, I got some Louis Vuitton sweatpants. Mm -hmm. And it is good quality. But... And them sweatpants was like $1,000. Man, I went to a Nike store. These joints were 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. They feel about the same. The, the quality is a little better, but it ain't that much better. So let's say they call they chart they cost um to make these. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's Nike, so these might cost three dollars to make. Louis Vuitton for the same sweatpants with the better quality, it might cost six dollars to make. So to double the cost to make it, which isn't much, mm -hmm. but the the price, 10Xs, 20Xs. But I want you to see it like that. But the only reason we can even have this conversation is because now we're paying attention to the numbers. Right. And that's the only thing you haven't done. You have an amazing talent. You have a great personality. You're really good at it. But... Now we got to start taking it seriously and say, yo, I am going to be Alexander McQueen or I am going to be one of Bakari. these. I'm going to be Bakari. Big Bakari, though. Big. You little Bakari. Yeah, <laughs> 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 You little Bakari. You're going to be that deal. Mm -hmm. But now we got to take our, our craft hat off because you're good at the craft. Mm -hmm. We got to take our creative hat off. And put on our business hat. Exactly. And say, I am about to be a boss. You playing right now. And you have a great talent. That's why it's, it's so disheartening to see people with great talent just playing around with the talent. Because you can be a multi-billion dollar company. I believe it. I do too. Okay, what are we going to do about it? 
First, we're going to raise them prices. Raise them prices, yes. What else? And we're going to stop taking cash app and Zell. Stop taking cash app and Zell, for sure. Even though it's the easiest or, way. And Zell isn't bad because it can go into your business account. Mm-hmm. Well, it can. Yeah. My business account won't let me uh, set up a Zell. You got the wrong business account. Maybe federal. Go talk to them. Maybe you just have the wrong setup. Hmm. Okay. Because I got my business account, take Zell. And it goes into the account, and it's connected to QuickBooks, and QuickBooks sees when it comes in, and my account says, hey, what's this for? I'm like, oh, well, so-and-so bought. We're good. Okay. But we got to stop taking cash because I don't trust you that it's going to make it to the bank. Most of it do, though. No, it don't. Mm-hmm, most of it. <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> most of it. Some of it. Most of it. So half of it. <laughs> most of it. I only... So if I keep cash, I'm only gonna keep like a small percentage of it. Cause like my my little jars is like twenty percent, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, like twenty, thirty, ten, 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 or something like that. Twenty, thirty, fifty. That's a hundred percent. Yeah, but I don't put all the money in the jars. I'm just saying, like I just take like a little piece and then you know, and put the rest. <laughs> How much do you in the bag? How much? So, like, if I got a thousand dollars, I just be like, okay, I'm gonna put ten percent in my emergency jar. So I'm gonna take that hundred dollars, I'm gonna put it in the jar, and then mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the rest of the money and just put it in my purse and put it in the bank, and then I think about it. You ain't never. And maybe this is me projecting my irresponsibility on you. Mm-hmm. You're saying that after work every day you make it straight to the bank. No, no, not every single day. So, have you ever been in a situation where you got a bunch of cash in your purse, mm-hmm. and you couldn't go to the bank, but you got it? And you put it up a little bit. You take some because you need some cash because you're going out. And you just go outside. And then it's closed on the weekends. Mm. No, I don't really do that. So when at mm. first I used to because I used to like have so much cash. And I, I just never had that much cash. Mm. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got this, all this cash. Yes. So I used yes. to walk around with a whole bunch of cash. And I used to do it then. But now... So I, I feel like I have like little small disciplines. Like I don't have it all the way together, yeah. but I do have like little small disciplines and I do understand like, okay, this is my business money and this is my money. Now I still might go over there cause it's all connected, <laughs> but I, I feel like I have some little, you know, some little disciplines. Got you. You have a business account and a personal account. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you, do you only, and I'm only, again, this is me projecting, I used to, when it was time to pay rent, mm-hmm. I would just take the amount of my rent and take it from my business account, put it in my personal account, and my personal account pays the rent. Mm, I do that a lot. Yeah. Like when it comes to pay my bills. Yeah, pay your car note. It's like, oh, I ain't got nothing in my personal. Let me just take some from my business, put it in here. And we still have an account for it. like the people that be stealing from you. So there is a no cash policy. No cash. Because people steal it. Okay. But also... There definitely needs to be an inventory system so you know Mm -hmm. there's a count. This is how many we have today. And by the end of it, we need a count to make sure we have that, it it balances. Okay. How long the girl been working for you? Well, I don't have anybody working for me right now. Who at the shop now? Oh, it's appointment only? Nobody, yeah. Okay. I didn't have any appointments today. Good. Good, all right, well, we'll cut down from the stealing next year. Because they were stealing. No, she wasn't. She was such a good person. <laughs> she was a good girl. Yep. I'm going to call her, though. <laughs> I'm going to ask her. And she'll be like, no, I wasn't stealing. And then Bakari going to hang up like, I knew she wasn't stealing. <laughs> she was stealing. <laughs> she can't wait to work next season. <laughs> she can't oh. wait. Hmm. So we're going to cut down on all that. You'll have bigger mm-hmm. profit margins, raise your prices, start running like a business, mm-hmm. and eventually... Pay, attention to my, pay more attention to my numbers. Pay attention to the numbers, yes. Mm-hmm. Any other questions you got for me? Um, yes. So how, do I, so how do I go about budgeting? Like, how do you budget? What's your jars for? Well, I had read this little thing that was like, <laughs> it's called the five Jewish jars. Get you some jars. I'm like, Yo, you know, I'm going to get them jars. What do the jars do? So at first they helped me save money. Mm-hmm. So like, like I said, when I would get my money, it's like 50, it's like, yeah, 50, 30, 20, 10, 10 or something like that. 50% goes towards your expenses. 
Um, thirty percent goes towards uh like I think your needs, ten percent goes towards charity, ten percent goes towards emergency, um, and twenty percent goes towards like investments. Mm. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and I did a good job. I had saved seven thousand dollars one month. Oh. That's lit. And, and what I, and then what happened? Then I had put it in the bank. Then we was outside. It was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> Yo, there's, there's no reason of saving money if it's just going to be up again. Mm-hmm. So this is a formula that uh, I adopt, especially when I was working at the Cheesecake Factory. I have cash and stuff like that, mm-hmm. where I never wanted to spend more than seventy percent of my income. So seventy percent of the money that I made was for me. Lifestyle, bills, food, all that kind of stuff. Ten percent I would tie. Ten percent I would save. Ten percent, I would invest for capital. This is talking to somebody who has a job. So the ten percent that I tithe, that's gone. Mm-hmm. I make a hundred dollars. Ten percent goes in that little envelope at church. Give that away, no problem. Mm-hmm. The other ten uh, is investment for capital. I mean, it's 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 called capital, meaning I'm using this to invest into something. Mm-hmm. So if I need a camera or something like that. Every time I make $1,000, I put $100 in there because that's 10%. And once I have enough $100 in there to buy the camera, I take that money and I buy the camera. The third jar, I save for a rainy day because it always rains. So, but I never, ever touch that, Mm -hmm. even if it rains. Hmm. So what do you do when it rains? Let me ask you a question. When it rains, if you didn't have that jar, what would you do? Use the money you already got, I guess. You'd figure it out. Mm-hmm. So I try to act like that money doesn't exist. Because one day, one day, mm-hmm. I'm going to need something, and or it's going to be like a huge investment opportunity, and I'm going to realize, yo, I got $40,000 over there. Mm. Or I got $10,000, or I got $5,000 over there. Or something tragic happens. I've got this. I saved that just to have a cushion, primarily because I didn't want to be a part of the 70% of Americans that didn't have $1,000 saved. I don't want to do that. But now, let's move forward a little more advanced. Mm-hmm. So I have an app called Acorns, and I give my affiliate. I give all my affiliate, too. It's really, really dope. So I've set up a system where I steal for myself mm-hmm. because there are leaks in our finances Every time we go buy Starbucks, it's just like, it's like little holes in our boat. Mm-hmm. Like it's little areas of money that just get spent, but it gets spent because we see it in the account. Even if your business account, which is all mixed together right now, if that account is low and your girls say, yo, let's go to Miami, let's go hang out. If it's low, you're like, eh, I ain't going. But if it's more, you're like, oh, okay, I'll go. But I keep stealing from myself because I don't want to see the large amount. So I set up this app called Acorns. Acorns, every time I swipe a card, it rounds up to the nearest dollar. So if I spend $2.39, it'll take 61 cents and put it in in the stock market. Every time I swipe my card, it goes there. Any card that I have. Also, I have my... um, I actually have a, uh, I think it's like $10 a day. Actually, I'll just show you. I'll show you real quick. It's really cool. Acorn's really good, though. The the 69 cents be adding up. I love it. Okay. I'm I'm about to show you. Okay. I'm about to show you my Acorn's account. I never dumped a whole bunch of money in here. So look at this Acorn's account. Look how much is in there. Hmm. 31,000, right? Mm -hmm. But I started... I started, uh, when did I start? I started, when was this? I wonder if it's, one of these will show me. One of these will show me. But it says, at the age of 83, I have $1.39 million in this account, right? But, so look at the top, what do those top two say? And say it in the mic. Your potential? No, no, at the, at the very bottom. Oh. Say it in the microphone, make sure you. Recurring ten dollars every day, yep. and then your roundups are on. 
Yeah. Recurring, $10 every day. So, so every day it takes $10? Every day it takes $10 out of my account and puts it into the stock market. And it has like, I think it's ETFs, which are uh, pretty much the, the top performing stocks in the country. They kind of ball them up into okay. like one. And you're like, yo, you can put money when you're invested in all of them. So I put $10 every single day recurring into my account. And I also have round up on also, I earn bonus investment by, like, when I swipe my card at Macy's or eBay or something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, hold on, let me see. So, yeah, dang. They just paid a dividend of $150, which is, like, investment. Anyway, so that's one thing. It all goes into the stock market. So, it's like a savings account. Mm-hmm. I don't miss this money. You know what I mean? You spend ten dollars a day and you have no idea where it goes. At least, like you think about it, adding shrimp to pasta is like seven dollars these yeah, days. It's like it's, it's, sometimes it's like ten and twelve dollars. You feel me? But we just do it. Oh, ten dollars, no problem. I'm stealing from myself in that regard because I don't, I don't, I don't see the money going. Mm-hmm. It's just I got it, so I spend it. But I'd rather there be a leak in my account but it's going to, to an investment. Also, in my bank account, I have, uh, I have like 15%, so I pay myself, uh, I pay myself um, $10,000 a month, which is $5,000 every two weeks, which actually comes out to like 4,000 because I pay taxes on the money that I pay myself. But money, I, I, 15% of anything that's deposited in that account goes into my savings account. So I set up all these different ways to prevent me from seeing an amount of money. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the things that I do. A couple of the things that I do. Okay. But you need to start with having a targeted like goal. I want to have a savings goal. And I'm going to save a percentage of everything that comes in and put it over there because I'm not going to miss it. Savings, something for it, a capital. You might There might be a business that's going out of sale and a prime business is going out of sale or something like that. And they're like, yo, I'm about to sell this whole business for 30,000. And you're like, oh, you got the inventory, you got the, all that, that, that capital account in two years or so, whatever it is. So you can take your money out whenever you feel like you need to. Well, that, that 10%, remember I said 10% I tied, 10% mm-hmm. I saved, 10% is for capital. Oh, right, right, right. It's for investments. So that when an opportunity comes up, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I just want you to be ready. And these things come up all the time. Mm-hmm. But you got to have the money. They're like, yo, we, about, we selling everything. There's $100,000 worth of uh, um, product in here. Just give us $30,000. We out. You're like, yo, I got 20 cash. Now we got $100,000 worth of product for $20,000 because I started this process two years ago and now I have the money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Let's get wealthy, okay? Yes. All right. Good job. Okay, thank you. All right. She did good, right? See? If you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more.